What's up everybody? Travis here from Travis.media. So about 10 to 15 years ago, the, the idea or the thought of somebody like me or maybe like you getting a job as a software developer seemed completely unheard of. Like I didn't have a computer science degree. I was really bad at math. It just wasn't an option in my career path that I could pursue. But fast forward 10, 15 years, here it is 2020, people are getting jobs every day, all over the place, without computer science degrees, without being good at math, and it's a wonderful thing. Four years ago, I started learning, and I've been coding now for about four years. Super thankful for that. But here's the dilemma. When you finally get that job, and you get in the office, and the work starts coming your way, something happens, and it's this. You realize, or you think, that everybody in the room gets it, right? Everybody in the room is so smart and I just don't get it. Because every, all the other people in the room have degrees or all the other people in the room have been doing this for 10, 15 years and here you are, you know, a year or two under your belt, maybe even six months, and you're expected to do a lot of stuff. And you just feel like everybody in the room is smarter than you. I want to talk about that for a minute. All right, so first things first, if you're into web development, if you're learning to code, looking to freelance, anything like that, consider hitting that subscribe button below. There's lots of great videos on those topics and a lot of videos on the way. So this video was kind of off the cuff, uh, just some thoughts were in my head I needed to get out. And I just wanna offer a few words of encouragement if you're in this situation that I explained at the start of this video. So if you're at work, you're a software developer, you're at work and everybody seems to be getting it but you or everybody seems to be so smart and you seem to be like the only one struggling, like you're the weakest link or something, here's a few words of advice. Because I've been there and I still feel like that a lot of the times. I work with these awesome developers, they're so smart and sometimes I'm like, I think I'm the weakest link at this company. Even though I'm probably not, I feel like that. And it could be true, I don't know. But here's the advice, okay? You really only have three things you could do about it. Number one, you could quit and, and find some other industry to get into. That's number one, nobody wants to do that. We wanna be developers, so don't do that. Number two, you could learn stuff as fast as you can, right? You can get some courses and you can just spend hours and hours of your free time learning and learning and learning, trying to learn everything so that you come up to speed faster. That's not a good idea either because it doesn't work. It takes time to become a good developer. If you do that, you're gonna learn a little bit about a lot. Nothing's gonna sink in. You're not gonna have any roots. You're not gonna really understand these concepts. And I've been there. I've tried to you know, take tons of courses as fast as I could to become a better developer and to be able to talk with these great developers about subjects and it just doesn't work. So number two, cramming to try to get up to speed faster doesn't work either. So that leaves us with number three, which is being confident in who you are and where you're at on your coding journey. So you're not a senior developer, you can't act like a senior developer. When you're in that meeting and everybody's talking smart stuff and you come in with some stupid comment or some comment that, that explains something wrong and everybody's like, Ooh, and you're like, man, I really blew that. Like you have to accept that's who you are and that's where you're at at this stage. You have to be like, I'm Travis, I've been coding for four years, I make these kind of mistakes, that's who I am. I'm continually learning and I'll get better as time goes on, but that's who I am at this level. When you make mistakes, learn from them and adjust so you don't make the mistake again and laugh about it. Learn to laugh about this stuff. Learn to say, I don't know, when you don't know something. It's okay to do that, and I think people actually appreciate it. So we have to stop pretending that we know everything or we can jump in with the people that know everything and find confidence in where we're at in that journey. Now the other part of this is that it's a wonderful thing that you work around people that are much smarter than you because you have the best people to teach you and to grow with. So become a person that learns from these people and is humble about where you're at in your journey. Now none of this is to say stop learning, uh, keep learning and keep growing as a developer, but mainly when you feel like everybody in the room is smarter than you. It may be true, it may not be true, but be sure you know who you are and are confident in who you are and where you're at in that journey. And that's all I gotta say. I hope that helps somebody today and I hope you have a great day.